What's going on guys? Welcome back. Back on the river tonight. That was my first cast with a fly rod. First cast with a fly rod for the evening and first cast with a fly rod for the season. I have a lot of water I want to cover and I only have about an hour, hour and a half to cover it. So I'm going to be moving through these holes pretty fast. We are fresh off about a day and a half of rain. Just real light rain but rain for pretty well a day and a half. Um, there are some bugs on the water. You see birds flying around there. They're hitting some bugs. Um, not sure exactly what's out yet. But I'm starting with a dry fly in this first little pool here. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time here just because I have so much water I got to cover. But we're going to see if we can find a few fish on dry flies. Alright, nothing in this hole, so we're going to uh, throw the spin casting rod with a spinner on it. Alright, first cast with a spinning rod. Just going to take a few casts with this. Cover some water. Hopefully pick up a fish that didn't want to hit the dry fly. Oh, that was a nice trout. That was a nice trout. That was like an 18 inch trout. Just hit the end of it. That was a nice fish. There's no way that fish is gonna hit again. Oh, that's, that's a bummer. I mean, I was just getting ready to pop this out of the water and that fish hit. But at least the fish are here. It's a good sign. That fish did not want the dry fly. Put a dry fly right through there and he uh, didn't want any part of it. Yeah, the fish ain't gonna hit again. Dang it, that's too bad. That would have been a great way to start the night, but we are uh, gonna move on to the second hole. All right, so the current is a little faster here than I would like it to be, especially for the fly, but, but we're still gonna uh, try the fly first, and then we'll try the spin casting rod. All right, there's way too much, there's way too much current here, so I'm gonna have to uh, hit the spinning rod. See if we can pick up a few fish on the spinning rod. There's a fish. It's day pinned. It's day pinned. Right in the current. Oh, it's a bass. It's a smallmouth. Just a little smallmouth. Off that handmade spinner. I was hoping for a trout or a salmon. Not a smallmouth. All right, we're gonna uh, head down river just a ways. Because we have a little too much current right here. Looks like we have some mayflies hatching. Can't 100% tell yet, but. Initially, they look like mayflies. Got to be some fishing here. We do have some people fishing upriver. So, who knows, they may have hit this rock first. So we do have some real small flies hatching. And some big flies hatching. We have kind of a mix of everything right now. And what I'm trying to do is just hit about a rod length or two out. And then I'm progressively going to make my way out a little further. There we go. Looks like a little brown. Looks like a little, oh, is that a small mouth? Please tell me that's not a small mouth. Yep, small mouth. Small mouth on the dry fly. All right, this guy popped off and landed right in this hole. Yeah, my little guy. Full small mouth, thought it was a brown. Well, first fish on the fly rod for the season is a bass. I don't think I've ever caught this many bass out of this place. I think I've only caught one bass out of here before. I caught one last time I was fishing here too with the uh, spinning rod. So I don't see any clear rises tonight. I hear a few splashes, but nothing I've been able to locate for a target. So we're gonna fish another couple casts with a fly rod, then I'm gonna bust out the spinning rod. I 
I do see some bugs floating down the water. I've been watching them, but I haven't seen anything come up and hit them. Oh. Nope. I just watched one hit right where my fly is. See if I can get that. Yep. Got him. Got him. Got him. I saw this fish just before this one rise for a fly I saw float for probably, I don't know, I bet that thing floated 30 feet that I saw. And this is definitely a trout of some sort. Can't tell if it's a brown or a brookie. Looks like a brookie. Nice. That's what I'm after. Hopefully this fish don't get off. This is like a 12, 14 inch fish. Oh, he came off, no. A fish kind of caught up in this current and I tried to pull and it pulled the fly out. It looked like a nice brookie. Looked like a nice male brookie. It definitely helps having a target to go to. That actually may have been a little better of a fish than I was thinking. That may have been pushing 16. So that fish was just a real subtle riser. I barely saw that fish rise, both when he went before I caught him and when I caught him. Just a very subtle, subtle hit. Certainly not a lot of top activity. I just watched four or five bugs go out of sight. Nothing hit them. So, I mean, it's not like they're going crazy over them. Okay, we're going to head to the last part of the night. All right, we are at the last part of the evening. And, unfortunately, it's not very fly fishing friendly. There is maybe a lane or two I could hit, but for the most part, pretty much going to be spin casting right here. Oh, that was a nice target, but that is just out of range, unfortunately. I don't think I can hit that fish. Maybe if I stand this way, I may be able to get it. Oh, another fish. I got another target over this way. It's a little closer. Should be in range. Ah, oh, it's going to be close. All right, that is right on the level of that fish. Come on, that's right where that fish jumped. Maybe a little close. I'll try to get out a little further. That is my max cast right there. Yeah, that fish is, that, that first target I saw just jump, but that fish is out of range. I won't be able to hit that one. Much as I'd like to. There's a fish. Oh, he came off. Felt good contact. You just didn't get the hook. It looked like a good fish when it rolled. Just a little tiny, tiny sip. He just barely took that. All right, this is going to be just a spin cast only. I'm up too high. Too effectively fly fish, so... Just finish here with a spin cast. There's a fish. There's a fish. Probably a bass. Yep, another bass. I've never caught this many bass in one night. I do have to say that fish felt a little bigger than he was though fish hit pretty hard. All right, folks, we are going to call it good there. Wish I could have got some trout on screen, but unfortunately the three I hooked came off. You know, the one I got up close to shore popped off. Unfortunately, I thought I, I thought I had that one pinned pretty good, but that's how it goes sometimes. You can't always haul in whatever you want to haul in. Surprising how many bass I've caught. I've never caught this many bass out of this section of the river. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, dry fly bite. That is just starting, so that's only going to get better from here. So stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next one.